In this tutorial, I'll explain how to group vector levels using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you an example. And this example is based on the vector that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run line two of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector vector containing five elements. And the levels of these vector elements are called A, B, and C. Now let's assume that we want to combine two of these vector levels in the same vector level. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines five to seven of the code. So in line five of the code, I'm first duplicating our vector object because I want to keep an original version of our vector. So if you run line five of the code, a new data object is appearing at the top right, which is called X new. And then in line six of the code, I'm applying the levels function to this new vector object. And I'm assigning to these levels three new levels. So in this case, the levels A, B, and then again, B. So if you run line six of the code, our vector object is updated, as you can see by printing this new vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console. And now you can see that we have converted all the values C in our input vector to the vector level B. So in other words, we have combined the vector levels B and C. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.